Hello grade 11s, welcome to this lesson on probability calculations. We will discuss probability and what it is as well as how to represent it. Probability is a measure of the likeliness that an event will occur. In other words, probability is a number that represents the chance that a particular event will happen. Let's define a few more terms we will need to know. An outcome is a result we get from a single trial of an experiment. An event is a collection of one or more outcomes of an experiment. Probability is expressed as a fraction. The probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of the required outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. The best way to get to know probability calculations is to do a couple of examples. Let's try one together. Jacob rolls a fair dice. What is the probability that he rolls a prime number? Remember that a prime number only has the factors of one and itself. We'll start with a list of the prime numbers that appear on a dice. A six-sided dice has the numbers one to six. The prime numbers are two, three, and five. This means that there are three desired outcomes. Now that we've found the number of desired outcomes, let's list all the possible outcomes. The possible outcome of rolling a dice are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. This means that the total number of possible outcomes is 6, as there are 6 different outcomes we could get when rolling a dice. Remember, to find the probability of an event occurring, we need to put the number of desired outcomes over the number of possible outcomes for our experiment. The number of desired outcomes is 3. The number of possible outcomes is 6. The probability of rolling a prime number on a dice is 3 over 6. We can reduce this number to its lowest terms and get a half. We can present this as the decimal 0, 0,5. The same answer can be expressed as 50%. Now that we've done a simple problem, let's make some observations on probability. The range of probability is from 0 to 1 and it can be expressed as a fraction, a decimal, or percentage. This means that the probability scale is between 0 and 1. Remember, to change a fraction to a decimal fraction, we we'll divide the top of the fraction by the bottom. To change from a decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100. Let's look at another example. In a bag, there are five blue balls, six green balls, and four black balls. What is the probability of picking a green ball? Remember that in order to find the probability of an event occurring, we divide the number of desired outcomes by the total number of outcomes. Let's start by finding the number of desired outcomes. There are six green balls in the bag. This means that the number of desired outcomes is six. Now we need to find the total number of possible outcomes. This will equal the total number of balls in the bag. 5 plus 6 plus 4 equals 15 balls in the bag. Therefore, the number of possible outcomes is 15. Therefore, the probability of picking a green ball is 6 over 15. We can reduce this number to its lowest form, 2 over 5. As a decimal, the answer is 0, 0,4. As a percentage, it is 40%. Let's show how we change this fraction into a decimal and a percentage. 2 divided by 5 equals 0, 0,4. 0, 0,4 times by 100 gives 40%. Why don't you try the next example on your own? What is the probability of rolling an 8 on a 6-sided dice? The probability of rolling an 8 is 0. This is because there is no 8 on this dice, making it impossible to roll. Let's look at the calculations for this problem. The number of desired outcomes is 0 since 8 is not in the possible numbers we can get. The number of possible outcomes are 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Therefore, the probability of getting an 8 is equal to 0 over 6. Let us look at another example where the probability is impossible. 
There are four red balls, three green balls, and six pink balls in a bag. What is the probability of picking a white ball? There is no white ball in a bag. Therefore, the probability of picking a white ball is zero. We now know that an event that will not occur has a probability of zero. Remember the probability scale goes from zero to one. This means that if an event is definitely going to happen, it has a probability equal to one. For example, the probability of rolling a whole number on a dice is equal to one. Let's look at the calculations for this example. The number of desired outcomes is six. The number of possible outcomes equals six. Therefore, the probability of rolling a whole number is equal to one. Calculating probability is not too bad once we get the hang of it. Why don't you see if you can answer the next question on your own? The probability of picking a yellow marble out of a bag of marbles is 0, 0,65. The probability of picking a green marble is 0, 0,3. Which event is more likely to happen? It is more likely that a yellow marble will be picked because this probability has a higher value. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Working with Probability Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about probability on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.